Welcome all. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can compare two images in your automation using Selenium WebDriver. So for that purpose, I have taken three images in my uh, D automation test images folder. One is actual image, downloaded image and the expected image. So you can see there is actually a slightly difference in the actual image and the downloaded image. Like you can see in the actual image, little bit uh, image is a little bit blur and color are it is little bit greenish. So you can see that my uh, or uh, our automation code is able to identify whether the actual image and the downloaded image are uh, difference. Okay, different. Second thing is that we also use the same code to check whether my downloaded image and expected image, these image should be, uh, the answer should be same. So for that purpose, I have already, you can say, uh, created a project. In my uh, project, I'm using a third party library for the image comparison. Uh, so that's why I have created a, a Maven project here. And in Maven project, uh, uh, I have, uh, you can say, define this dependency. This dependency will download the required jar in my uh, project. Okay, so when it will download, we can use in our automation project here. So this is my uh, code for the automation where I have already imported the classes like you can see for, from that library. These are the two classes, image diff and image differ here. So in uh, in my automation, the first I have created two variables, two string variables so that I can store the path of uh, both the images for comparison. So this is the path of my expected image and this is the path of my actual image. Now, after that, uh, in Java, whenever you want to handle with the, uh, you can say whenever you want to read the file or you want to make any type of operation uh, in file, you have to convert into the file object. So that's why I've created two file object. One is expected image file and second is actual image file. I've created two objects by passing the expected image and the actual image. Now I've created these two file objects. Now, if you want to read this file so for uh, you can say so that you can compare it. So for that purpose, I call the uh, read function of the image IO class. So I have just passed the expected image uh, uh, file object here and uh, you can say store in the expected image uh, reference here. That is the type of expected images buffered image. Same thing I've done with the you can say actual image. I've just uh, called the image IO read function and passing the by passing the actual image file uh, object here. And when this code will run, it will read the file and will store in the actual image reference. So now I got the expected image and the actual image. Uh, uh, you can say object now using this image differ class we can compare it so i created the object of image differ class and image differ class contains a function that is called make diff and in this make different uh, make diff i just pass the expected image uh, object and i pass the actual image object so what will happen when this code will run it will uh, you can say uh, check the differences it will compare the image and will store uh, the result in a diff reference variable. The type of difference variable is image diff. Okay, so now in in, uh, in this uh, diff ref, uh, reference, I have called a function has diff. So this function will return true if the images are, uh, you can say not same. And if this function will return false if images are same. So you can say when it will return the true, it means images are not same. So I will print this statement that is images are not same and if the answer will be you can say uh, answer will be false it means images are same so the, in that case it will go to the else part and will run it so first of all i'm going to compare the expected image and the actual image and you know that there is a difference in these two images the first two images so let me run it So when I'm going to run it, you can see the answer. It is uh, telling you answer image are not same. It means it is able to uh, identify whether these two images are not same. Now I will do one thing. I will try to compare a download image with the expected image with the same program. So let me uh, copy the name of this file and let me change it in the actual image. Look, actual image, uh, you can say place. So now you will see uh, in this time what will happen. Uh, this will uh, this this will present the expected image file and this will present the you can see download image. So same code will run and when this time it will try to compare the answer should be images are not images are same. Okay, sorry images are same. So let me run it. So you can say answer is coming. Images are same. It is printing images are same. It means this code is running fine. Now you can use this code in your program. And here you can change the path of your images. If you are uh, using uh, images from your different folder, you can change the path of this one and you can change the path of this one here. Okay. And uh, you can uh, copy this code from the description of this video and you can use in your automation uh, code.
okay so uh, in my upcoming video in my upcoming video i will show you that how you can download a file at run time uh, from your web application and compare with your existing or expected file which is in your automation framework this thing we will see in my upcoming video if you uh, if you this if you found this video useful you can uh, like the video you can put the comment on my video and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you